you. Good morning, and Yaliho to all my dear students. I hope you all are fit and fine at the places. From last few days, you might be observing our principal sir, our Kajal ma'am, and all the fellow teachers are sharing small, small videos on different topics and different subjects. We just want you to ensure that you should utilize your way, day in a very fruitful way. Today's my topic is maths as a fun. Maths, maths is nothing but playing with numbers. You might have, you might have observing in last few days, the number of infected people are increasing day by day in different countries. Thanks to our prime minister who has taken a wise decision of lockdown. There are some countries who has not taken the thing seriously or initially, and now they are facing a lot of problem. Do you know how this number increases? If one person, if one infected person is meeting five people a day, and those five people are meeting next five, next five people in the next day, so that way the number increases to 25 in the very next day. And do you know on the third day how many people were infected? 625. And within four to five days, it is more than, is more than lakhs. So, number is a, nothing but a, a just a number. This is the magic of the number, my dear students. We need to know the number. We need to play with the number with the proper calculation and steps. This way, we can, we can beat everybody. If you know the how to play the play with the numbers with proper calculation and steps, I am sure nobody can beat you. In context with this, let me tell you a story with you. Long day before, there was a king who was loved to play chess. Whoever come to his court, he invite him to play chess with him. One day, a sage and a mathematician came to his court. As usual, he invited him to play chess. The sage got ready, but sage has put a condition that if he wins the game, the king has to, has to fulfill his wish. The king readily agreed. The game started. At the end of the game, the sage won the game. The king has to fulfill the wish. And do you know students, what did the sage what was the wish of the sage? He put a square chess board in front of him. And do you know how many boxes are there in the chess board? It has six, eight rows and eight columns. So total there are 64 boxes in the, on the chess board. He, the sage put one grain of rice in the first box. Then he put the, in the second box, he wanted the number of rice should be double. That is, that means two. In the third, four, in the fourth, eighth, then sixteen, then thirty-two, then sixty-four, then one hundred twenty-eight. In this way, he want that all the still sixty-fourth box, the num uh, the number of grains, however uh, how much the number of grains will become, that will be his. Initially, King was making fool of the sage, thinking that what is uh, what is what uh, what is the foolish wish of him. He bought a sack of rice. He thought it will be more than enough. But students, when it went to 20th box, the number of grains were 1 million. And when it went to 40 num the number of bo uh, 40th number of box, the number of grains were 1000 million. And do you know students, when it come to the last box, that is 64th number of box, how much grain it was? It was 210 million tons of grain. That much grain was not there in the whole kingdom. This is the magic. This is the magic of maths. With proper calculation and proper steps, no, if you learn the maths in this way, you will, nobody can beat you. Parents, I, I request you, please play a puzzle 
puzzle games for example sumroko is there number pyramid is there which even your mobile has so many games mathematical games are there this way it will not only increase the uh, mathematical uh, interest of the of your child it will also increase the problem solving skill it will also increase the logical reasoning logical and reasoning skill in your child this way if he play if he play with the if he likes the interest definitely maths is going to be his favorite subject one day now with the with the thought of a puzzle let me ask a puzzle to you students can you name 10 words without letter a in it yes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 do you know students thousand is the first word with a letter a in it isn't it in interesting and all odd numbers has letter e in it these are this is some of the facts some more facts i want to share with you two is the only even number which is prime the rest all num prime numbers are odd next if you add two even number or two odd number you are definitely going to get an even number but if you add one odd number and one even definitely you are going to get a odd number last but not the least zero is the only number which is not represented by roman numerals because zero invented after the roman numeral were invented and students do you know who invented zero yes our indian mathematician aryabhatta this was all about the puzzle now the next is the tables i know when it comes to the table it becomes a very difficult for you to learn tables every day parents your teachers they are asking you to learn the tables on and off but there is a trick i'll share i want to share with you if you know the table from 1 to 9 you can frame i am sure you can frame table till 99 any two digit number and that is in a very easy way want to know how let's see say for example i want to uh, make the uh, frame the table of 31 let's see how i can make it the table of 3 you know the table of 1 you know so how i'll frame the table of 31 31 ones are 3 1 31 twos are 6 2 62 3s are 9 3 93 Fours are one two four one hundred and twenty four. Fives are one five five. Six are one eight six. Seven are two one nine. Eight are two forty eight. Nine are two seven nine. Ten are here the one place of thirty and tens place of ten is added. So it will become three one zero. Isn't it interesting? Let's go to one tough one. Say for example, I want to frame the table of ninety-eight. Let's see how I'll make. First, the table of nine I have written. Then, table of eight I have written. Now, let's start table of ninety-eight. Ninety-eight ones are nine eight ninety-eight. Now, for twos are see the eight of eighteen and one of sixteen I added. So it will become one eight plus one nine and six one ninety six. Three is a two seven plus two nine and four two ninety four. Four is a three six plus three nine and two three ninety two. Five is a four five plus four nine and zero four ninety. Six is a five four plus four eight and eight five eighty eight. Seven is a six. Three plus five eight and six six eighty six. Eight is a seven. Two plus six eight and four seven eighty four. Nine is a eight. One plus seven eight and two eight eighty two. Ten is a nine. Zero plus eight eight and zero nine eighty. Isn't it interesting, students? You can take any two numbers and the write down the table in this way. You can frame the table of any two-digit number. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you like this trick. Kindly practice, and we'll discuss, we'll share when we'll meet in the class. So, 
nice meeting you students nice sharing with you the with, uh, with you students hope you all are fit and fine take the necessary precaution whatever is given to you by your parents so utilize your time in a very fruitful way stay fit stay happy happy ram navmi to all thank you